Hey guys, it's Boxbro. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm going to be showcasing this Wavy Willard Wipeout Prefab in-game. I'm a big fan of prefabs, and this one honestly looks like a lot of fun to add to a camp. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this and show you guys what it looks like in-game. And I'll go ahead and show like what it's like to place it and that sort of thing. Alright, so we are currently at my camp, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what this prefab looks like, uh, but I do need to make a little bit of space. So it is going to be in the misc structures tab, as most of the prefabs are, and if you scroll down to it, this is what it looks like right here, and this is the size. So compared to some of these other prefabs, you can kind of see how tall it is. I was actually expecting it to be a bit taller, but it's pretty much about the same height as the downed airplane generator. Um, and you can see the materials it takes. It's going to take a little bit of asbestos, steel, and aluminum, but honestly not that much materials. And if you go over here, we can see how tall it is compared to the Mega Mansion. It's slightly taller than the Mega Mansion. Um, but yeah, so it's a pretty big, sizable prefab, and we're going to go ahead and put it in the back corner over here. And we can also see how much budget it'll take up. If you look at my camp budget, I've got very little budget left, so we'll see if we can place this. Alright, so I went ahead and went to my second camp to demonstrate this a bit easier since my first one is kind of cramped. So this is the Wave of Willards Wipeout, and you can see I've got a lot of budget at this camp. So we're going to go ahead and place this, and you guys can kind of see how easy it is to place. This is how deep the, uh, the base is, and like I could kind of place it like right here, which looks like it's floating. Um, but overall, like, I don't think it's too difficult to place, but you are going to need some flat ground since it's such a large, flat prefab. Um, and like right here, you can see I can't place it, but as soon as I kind of level it out a little bit more, you can place it right there. And this is kind of how flat it is to the ground. It is floating a little bit. I think the uh, Mega Mansion is definitely easier to place than this one, um, but this one has a little bit of a floating base. And... Yeah, let's take a look. So this is what the prefab actually looks like in game. There's some flowing water and it actually looks pretty nice. It goes down into like a little pool um, and there's floating water here. You can't interact with anything down here, but you can go ahead and let's go up these stairs. There's one room here, which is pretty spacious. Um, and then we can go up a little bit more and there's a second room, which is also pretty big. And then there's a third level. And this is where the actual slide is. And um, this is where you can actually interact with it. I can't slide down it since I'm in power armor, but let's go ahead and get out of the power armor. And up here, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, just a roof. Then we'll go ahead and slide. <laughs> Character collapse a little bit and you cinematically go down the slide. And just like that, you arrive at the bottom and then you can just reset. And that's pretty much what the prefab looks like in game. Uh, I don't believe there's any electricity already hooked up to it or anything like that. Let me check if there are doors that came with it. So you, these doors can snap in place, but I'm curious if this came with doors, like how the Mega Mansion has its own doors, um, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so as far as I know, it doesn't look like the that this place has its own doors own custom doors so, but you can just use like other doors and attach them in here and let me go ahead and give you guys a better view here and we'll use this camera as like a kind of like a cinematic camera to give you perspective of how big this is that's like what the water looks like rushing all the way down it honestly is a pretty good looking prefab with like running animations constantly on it a nice and big blue structure too so overall i think it's a good prefab i will say it is a little bit hard to place uh, unless you have really good flat area it's gonna float a little bit i'll show you guys if i have the mega mansion i'll go ahead and show you guys the mega mansion really quick like this thing places a lot easier um it just kind of molds to like its environment like you see how i just placed it right there like it's not on flat ground but there's no floating part and this part actually like properly takes in the height <clears throat> of this rock right here so like this prefab is super super nice and super easy to place like i could place it right here on these rocks and it still looks like it kind of fits and blends in a little bit obviously this part's going to be hanging off but you could easily adjust it so that it's not like that and then we don't have anything that's floating here 
Uh, so yeah, the Mega Mansion, super easy to place, and I would say that this is not nearly as easy, just so you guys kind of get an idea. We can try placing this on the edge and see if it'll work. But like, yeah, I'm going to place it and it's just going to be completely floating, like no part of it really molds very well, except maybe the front stairwell here. And place it again, and yeah, it's still just going to be floating and hanging off here. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any other questions about the prefab, also let me know. That way I can, I'll go ahead and let you guys know since I'm going to be using it. Um, and some of the dirt actually comes through this as well. Um, but yeah, and until next time.